AKL, um, a week later, too, and a dollar short, <laughs> we, we, we are going to get into CES stuff and other stuff, but there's another story we should probably at least acknowledge, <laughs> and that is the blackout heard around the U.S. <laughs> Now, what was that? What, that I, I thought something was shelled. Why, why would the protest continue? Protect IP is still very much alive. And until the blackout, even though Obama said he wasn't going to sign SOPA, Congress was still completely behind it. Uh, I thought the, uh, the House went decided not to pursue it. They decided to table it and bring it back to the floor. They were supposed to do that Wednesday. They were supposed to bring it to the floor on the 18th to renew discussion on it. And that was why the blackout was planned for the 18th. Rather it's because of Occupy or they just didn't want to deal with it or whatever. It didn't get done on the 18th. It's been further delayed to the 24th something, but over the course throughout the day of the 18th, about two-thirds of the people supporting it said, no, I don't support that. I don't know what you're talking about. So as it stands right now, the president says he won't sign it. The majority of Congress is against it, but the co-sponsor of it, is still for it, defending it, and so are about yeah, 60 people, give or take. So, it's all has legs. It's all but dead. Protect IP okay, is... Okay, so, what I get... I mean, so I guess the thing of it is, is that they're going to have to deal with the Congress and the No, I'm not talking about the government websites. That, that's a different matter. That, that several government websites were taken down. That was in response to something entirely different. Oh. That was in response to a, a different site being taken out. Um, since you brought that up, I, I... Oh, that has to do with the Mega Upload site? Yes, Mega Upload was taken out before we have SOPA! <laughs> I know that, but the government sites being taken out was had nothing to do with SOPA or Protect IP. It was anonymous hackers retaliating for the takedown of Mega. Oh, okay. So I didn't, they're completely I didn't unrelated know. things. <laughs> Why did they take down Mega? What was the reasoning? And who took it down? The U.S. government took it down. Um, I believe so, yeah. It's basically been sanctioned. They did the same thing they did with the Homeland lockdown thing. If I... Is this the same screen that we got uh, when we tested that one site that we went to at the time we did the show at SoFa? I, I believe so. If I go to Mega Upload... And the thing that does, does will it still direct us to YouTube again? Is <laughs> it? I don't know. I'm waiting for it to load. It won't even engage on my computer. What the hell? Yeah, I'm getting a really laggish response here, trying to load it myself. But no, mega up. Basically, mega upload was taken out by legal, yeah, by legal means, uh, and. Uh, uh, hackers, you know, doing uh, a pe uh, under the guise of the anonymous, you know, we are anonymous, yada, 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 basically said, okay, we'll do a denial of service thing and take down government sites, you know. Uh, th that was what that was about. That had nothing to do with SOPA or Protect IP. That just oh. had to do with, oh, we'll show you what a takedown's like, you know. There's no banner, though. There's no banner coming up. It's just trying to download. I wonder if it took this site down. I mean, I want to know if it's the same banner that we saw for that, uh, what was that site, ZML or something like that? Yeah, 
It was shut down by the feds, not the Department of Justice. So this was DMCA takedown. It's not even coming. It just remains blank, whatever. So yeah, this is this is a different takedown. Gonna... This is more. This is again. This is the other set of laws they already have to go after them. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, again, one more reason we don't actually need SOPA or protect IP. It's like, That's what we included in our show, really. <laughs> but here it's saying here that that um, I'm reading on uh, getting back to SOPA. Those the Democrats are behind PIPA. It's saying here it's the Senate Democrat leaders still planning to vote next Tuesday on PIPA. Yes. And, and that's the real thing here. Basically, everybody is like, well, we, we've all but won SOPA. Why is everybody still doing this? Because it's not just about SOPA. It's about SOPA and the Protect IP Act, uh, which is just as bad as SOPA. Uh, it, it's, it does different things. It's, actu uh, it, it, it's the same thing SOPA is. It's a layer of regulation to basically handicap startups and force them to deal with the cost of things and has similar penalties to SOPA. It, 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 so Check this out. Republicans Orrin Hatch, uh, Marco Rubio, Chuck Grassley, Roy Blunt, John Boozman, Buz, uh, near all cited that uh, the earful they are getting from constituents. I can, this is their quotes, I can say with all honesty that the feedback I received from Arkansas has been overwhelmingly in opposition to the Senate bill in, in the current form. Well, Senate Majority Harry uh, Reid controls the Senate calendar has registered or has resisted suggestions to put off the Tuesday vote. Why? Uh, I it, thought Democrats were all for freedom and shit. See, I, I, I know that. See, that, that's the thing here. It, it, as near, I mean, according to Wikipedia. Millions of people saw the blackout message, and this is just for Wikipedia. There were thousands of sites, 75,000 plus, that participated in this, as well as several independents that weren't counted. You know, like if those of you who remember Jordan, you know, this week in Linux, he took his site down. We kind of, as best we could, blacked out the YouTube channel. So, I mean, it's. And, and, but just for Wikipedia, as near as they can figure, around six million people use their search thing to search for their representative, and you know, con and go through the steps to at least have the I information. Already, I, already wrote, I already wrote my congressman. Yeah, I, I know. So, so the reality is, write letters, emails don't get answered. Oh yeah, yeah, you have to write letters. Nobody you have to call. You you have to do that thing. Well, and the real reason the emails don't get anything is because of all those auto-generate them things. Where it's like, click this to send an email. Click this. So the handwritten. Actually, you really want to turn your head? Don't just send a letter. Take the time to hand write it. Uh-huh. And that, that, that's just like, oh, well, shit. Well, if you mail that is, that is written, it does get, get a response. It will. So. But, yeah. Now, it, well, but... Uh, the blackout had some good okay, results. What are the blackouts from make up for? What are the other blackouts for? Yeah, the the anonymous things are not. The the SOPA ones we're dealing with SOPA. Uh, so it, you know, basically about half of the two thirds to half to two thirds of the support dried up for SOPA. Unfortunately, Protect IP is still kind of a little bit under the radar because people are focusing more on SOPA. It's like you, you know, it's like SOPA and Protect IP. So. It's it's it, isn't it an interesting uh, ground? It's kind of like uh, it's like a new frontier. I don't, I don't know if that's a great analogy. I was thinking about the West expansion of the United States and how regulations seep in once once uh, centralized power begins to ferment in areas. Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, <sighs>